Hello everyone! Welcome once again into my studio, my new studio with the beautiful angel wings. Before anything else, uh, I want to share with you the poncho that I'm wearing. I got this poncho from J. Jill. And the reason why I'm sharing this because it's such a nice, beautiful canvas to display your jewelry. When you wear long pieces like this, um, it doesn't have to be paper beads, but you know me, I'm wearing paper beads. So I'm going to show you this up close later on. There is no tutorial for this today but just giving you ideas but this is very easy to do once you see it up close it's very easy and the poncho i'm thinking of making one myself this is just like a rectangle with a hole for your head so we can try that um, it doesn't have to be all paper bead tutorials here from now on so anyway, today I will be sharing you um, my Tuesday morning finds, shall we say. So they are all different um, jewelry that I found in their jewelry aisle that we can, uh, we can take apart. So later on, I will show it to you up close. But first, before that, the other thing that I found on Tuesday is um, some display things for jewelry. So we call this repurposing because look, this is supposed to be used as a juice uh, container. It has a little faucet here see but I've been looking for display um, things for my jewelry because I am going to the Pasadena bead and design show come July so wouldn't this be perfect to hang your your earrings here and this faucet is just a screw on and you can just take that off. I will have uh, pictures of this uh, with jewelry hanging, earrings hanging. Um, go to my Facebook page, okay? And, and see what uh, we use this for. Also for taking pictures and all that would be great. So this is a little bit, um, uh, shall I say expensive for a for props it's $25 but I can use it and use it again and I can also put lemonade in here <laughs> come summertime so the other thing that I want to show you that also I found Tuesday morning Tuesday morning is just right across from me over there so that's my other playground <laughs> shall we say so this one first I'm just, it, it has a stand that folds okay it's an angel you see that it's an angel and it has this little removable uh, thing dish in the shape of a leaf that's just magnets onto here. I am going to be putting this in my happy hobby area at the side of my townhouse uh, for pictures. And this is made out of uh, metal. And so it can, you know, be outside. But isn't that neat? Look at the, look at the wings. The wings can be removed. Sorry. It can be removed. See? I'm thinking, shall I decorate that with something? Look at her. Isn't she so cute? She's perfect. When I'm not here, she can just be here. 
So anyway, um, yes, these are my finds from Tuesday morning. So this is the necklace that I was wearing. And what it is is just long chain. There is not even a clasp. And we just attach the little paper bead charms on there. Um, see, they are just, uh, the way the paper bead charms are made are we just using that loop. So it's very easy and pretty simple. So you can make this as many charms as you want. Again, you can add charms that has meaning to you and, um, and just make it to go over your head. So I don't want to say how long this is because it will depend on, on you, how tall you are or how short you are. So I'm, I'm only five, two and a half. I used to be five, three, I shrunk. <laughs> so this must be around 36 inches, maybe 40, I don't know. But again, just make it to fit you. So these are really inexpensive crystals, but once you have it on, it looks really pretty. By the way, the angel is uh, $40. I forgot to mention to you how much that is. So these are the other jewelry find that I have at uh, Tuesday. So this necklace, I bought it because they look like paper beads. Don't they look like paper beads? It's $13, $12.99. And I don't think this one doesn't have any clasp. I should have some scissors handy over here. It doesn't have a clasp. So it's, it says 60 inches. So this also can just go over your head. Look at that. And this is a good layering piece for your paper bead jewelry. Now my next find is this. If you see this in person, the gold is very nice. It's the nice kind of gold, not too yellowish. So this one is $10 and you know they're very heavy and substantial. And this is the chain mail style, which is hard to do. So you're getting a lot from just this necklace. So again, I will take this apart or leave it as is and then attach some paper beads on there. I don't know yet. I don't know what to do, but I just love the, the gold color of this necklace. And and this pair of earrings, uh, they are $4 and they're copper color and it has some texture on there, some decorative etchings. So this is nice. I'm imagining I can hang one long chain in there with paper beads dangling onto it. So this is very uh, simple very inexpensive four dollars this one <clears throat> too is six dollars and look so you're getting an earring finding for six dollars so this is just like little crystals the cheap kind crystal so i would want to replace that with paper beads so that's going to be a project and this one also is nice. It's simple and actually this uh, thing is not even a stone. It's just like plasticky. So, but the finding is pretty. Again, I can put a paper bead on there instead of that. This is $6. And the last one that I got from there, this is the first thing that caught my interest is this uh, necklace. You see? 
they are all different size uh, of beads and um, I can I want to take it apart and replace it with paper beads so because these are the cheap kind of beads and you don't really want to wear them like that so I would take them apart and replace it with paper beads some saucer beads some bicone beads some round beads some petite beads some teardrop beads so there you go and this one is eight dollars plus the style idea right so go to Tuesday morning they are very uh, reasonably priced and the the angel for example if you want there is still one angel there uh, that's very nice for taking pictures just tell them that you know uh, you heard you heard of them from me Janice well I hope you learned something new today uh, till next time thanks for watching and this is how I'm gonna say bye to you from now on instead of doing this bye my angels <laughs>